I never thought I would see this day. But alas, here we are, the LinkedIn Ads Library. Similar to the Facebook Ads Library, we can now see what our competitors are up to. So let's jump in and have a look. Just go to linkedin.com forward slash ad dash library forward slash home. I'll include a link to that in the description box so you don't bore yourself to death typing it out. Right, here we are in the LinkedIn Ads Library and we can see that there are a couple of different things. We can search for a company or advertiser name or we can search based on the keyword. There are also the filters of the countries where the ads are being run and shown and the date range as well, whether it's the last 30 days, this year, or a custom date range. So let's start with something nice and simple. Let's type in Facebook ads as an example and see what ads come up as a result of that. And we can see right here, there are a whole range of different things. So if we go to, for example, the Tech for Computers LLC, shout out to them, we'll go on the view details, information, and we can see that there's information about the ad, which is just a simple, single image ad, and who the advertiser is. We can also see all of the different ad copy. That's quite a good, healthy um, dose of ad copy right there. So it's quite a cool little thing. And it's very similar to the Facebook ads library in that we get a wide range of ads showing at one time. Now the difference here is it does appear to be um, structured a little differently. It's not sort of um, a very linear. It's very sort of like non-linear all over the place. Uh, but it's still got all the useful information in there. If we click onto another ad, we can see again it's a single image ad. And we can see the call to action button, headline. And we can see here that they have multiple versions or may have multiple versions. So if we go back, you can see that there's another version there and another version there. So quite interesting overall. Let's go back and see if we can find a company-based one instead. So let's see if we can find somebody nice and big. So let's say someone like Google and we just run a search on that one. Does it return some good results? Yes, it does. Here we go. You can see there are multiple different offers. And if we filter it down by country, let's filter it down to Australia. What ads is Google running in Australia right now? And let's do a quick search there. Okay, so we can see there's a shortfall of cybersecurity. You can think with Google, Google Cloud, Google. And if we go into this one, which is obviously a video ad and view the details, again, we can see it's a video ad paid for by Essence Global Australia PTI LTD. So that's another one, which I guess we can find out more information on a little more. And clicking on the ad, we can see the call to action. That all seems fine. So let's scroll down and have a look at a couple of the other ads that are running. Okay, so it looks very much like sort of Google-based ads, all very interesting. If we look at the Google Cloud one as the final example, we can see it's a little different and it's obviously um, paid for by another advertiser, which might just be a subsidiary of Google. And I'm sure if we click on the call to action button, does that take us to the particular landing page? Oh my goodness, it does. Yes, so that's quite a cool little feature. So if we go back to the LinkedIn ads um, here, and we just get rid of the filters. You can see here, there's some really strong things that you can do by typing in a company or advertiser name, or just searching based on the keyword. It's actually quite a nice uh, little feature. And if you go to uh, the help page, which is talking about the LinkedIn ads library, you can see for yourself how it all works and what their commitment is with all of this stuff all very interesting so do go over and check out the linkedin ads library everybody it is quite an interesting tool and it allows you to once again spy on your competitors on yet another platform hope you found this video useful if you did don't forget to hit that like button down below and consider subscribing if you are new to the channel have a wonderful day everybody and we'll see you in the next video bye for now